there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we are talking the Golden Bachelor. We're talking Bachelor Nation. Oh, uh, because we need to announce another breakup, you guys, and it shouldn't be a shock to you. Let's talk about it. I uh, So the Golden Bachelor, the first Golden Bachelor, Jerry Turner, has filed for divorce from Teresa Nis, re, or I'm sorry if I'm butchering your last name, or it might be Nice. reveals ironclad prenup. This is three months, you guys, after that TV wedding that ABC just paid for a couple months ago, you guys. Let's talk about it. It is over. The first ever Golden Bachelor, Jerry Turner, has filed for divorce from Teresa hours after telling the world about their split. RadarOnline.com has learned the 17-year-old officially pulled the plug on his three-month marriage on Friday, filing the divorce documents in his hometown of Petersburg, Indiana. Turner cited the relationship irretrievable breakdown as the reason behind the split. No, I, I think rumor has it. Uh, he, he was uh, checking for... Uh, What's old girl's name? Leslie? Is that who he's checking for? Allegedly. Uh, is the reason behind the split. He double confirmed they signed an ironclad prenup before walking down the aisle in January. The I do's were famously documented in an extravagant wedding special of the Bachelor franchise. Teresa, she is two years younger than Jerry at the grand age of 70. They fell in love on season one of the show. They share no children, so custody won't be an issue. Are they trolling right now? Are, are you serious right now? They're in their 70s. <laughs> what is going on? And with the prenup already in place, the divorce should be smooth sailing. TMZ was first to report the divorce. Uh, Turner and uh, Teresa revealed their separation only hours ago on Good Morning America. Teresa and I have had a number of heart-to-heart -heart conversations and look closely to our living situations. He said on Friday they announced their decision to dissolve their short-lived marriage. We just felt like it's best for happiness of each of us to live apart. Uh, I still love this person. There's no doubt in my mind. Turner told us his soon-to-be ex-wife, I still love you, during the televised segment. The pair said they continue to consider each other best friends, but they simply couldn't make their marriage work, right? And Turner popped a question uh, in Costa Rica during the season finale of The Golden Bachelor, which aired in November, while Turner uh, and Teresa share no children. Why do they keep bringing this up? There, there, there's no possibilities right now. Uh, they have kids from other marriages who witnessed the then happy couple tie the knot in a televised wedding ceremony on ABC. During the ceremony, Turner made some big commitments to his speech. I promise to make you feel comforted in difficult times and abundantly joyful in great times. He said in his vows to Teresa, I promise those dark pillow talk moments when silence deafens to share my innermost thoughts with you and to listen to yours tenderly and carefully because we have a trust that cannot be broken. And also, however, it was reported months ago that there were already trouble in paradise for the reality TV couple with their prenup allegedly being a big issue. According to sources, Turner and Teresa bickered about their prenup before exchanging vows. Teresa wants a prenup. One insider spilled in December. He's offended that she doesn't trust him. Uh, they are bickering all the time now unless the cameras are on. She wants to stick it out. They add it, though her friends think it is for the wrong reasons. Uh, so, so here's the thing, you guys. Here's the thing, especially when it comes to uh, American reality TV shows, American dating reality TV shows, uh, they're never going to work, you guys. They have the worst success rate. I believe The Bachelor, Bachelor Nation now, is one of the worst reality show success rates in the U.S. right now. I believe Big Brother has a better success rate of relationships and potential marriages than The Bachelor does. Then The Bachelor, Bachelorette, Golden Bachelor, uh, Bachelor's, uh, what is it? The Bachelor in Paradise. Uh, <laughs> like, it's, it's better than all of them. And here's why, right? Here's why uh, the success rate of these dating shows are so terrible in America. Number one, in comparison to a lot of these other countries that do these spinoffs and things, is a lot of times uh, for these reality shows where a lot of these contestants are based across the country from each other, nine times out of 10, it is not going to work unless one person is going to agree to move cross country to live with that person full time, right? 
Uh, if you are still going to plan on living in Cali while they still plan on living in New York, nine times out of 10, this relationship is gonna be over within a couple of months, which is what happens 99.9% .9 of the time, right? Also, a lot of times, casting is an issue for some of these reality shows now because they are not doing traditional applications anymore you guys they are scouring your instagram to see who looks like you know fitness models right who looks like bold and you know and buff and on all these things right uh but they are not doing a genuine application uh to really uh you know put together people who are actually compatible right they're going strictly off of looks they're going strictly off of you know the younger the better uh, especially for the female contestants and, and that's a huge mistake the one thing i will give the golden bachelor was it was nice seeing mature women um not women in their 20s for once that are just gonna argue over the stupidest stuff women who are gonna mature who are gonna handle their business they're not going to you know clam up or anything they're gonna tell it how it is right and either you're gonna love it or you're gonna hate it right but the issue with some of these younger people that they like to cast is there's some people who are just so desperate for fame and, and attention and, and all of these things that they're they're willing to just be messy just to be messy but then they get mad when social media drags them right uh so so that's the other piece right the long distance the casting casting people who just want to be famous and who are not really looking for love also you have the situation even netflix is struggling right with even love is blind even these shows love is blind and married at first sight where it is designed for you to meet somebody who lives in your same city right so it is less likely for you to pull the card on hey our potential marriage isn't going to work because we live too far away the distance is too much no 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 the issue now is nobody is casting like i said for compatibility purposes they're casting the complete opposite of what you were putting on your application of what you want in a partner so they can cause maximum chaos and the problem with love is blind now is the people are just looking to stay on the show right so they're going to say anything and and in anything just to get chose by somebody right or even choose themselves right to just get to the end even though they know they have no intention of marrying this person right but they want the fame they want the camera time and this is the same thing that's happening with married at first sight some people you know allege you can make 25 or 50k on the show for six weeks and potentially get an additional bonus allegedly if you agree on decision day to stay together and then boom file for a divorce uh, by the time the reunion airs and, and all of the things these people are not taking it seriously anymore and casting has given up on actually casting people who are actually compatible. They are intentionally casting people who they know these people are not interested in, or they know they specifically said, this is my deal breaker. And they end up pairing them together for maximum chaos and maximum drama uh, for these weddings and engagements. And it's awful. So again, you know, these, these shows aren't designed, especially these American shows, they're not designed for these couples to last. The formula, number one, that these shows do not film long enough, number one, for, for there to be any uh, connections that are substantial. Uh, you have the rare instances like a Big Brother, like a Love Island and all the things where sometimes some people make it out. Sometimes some people make it work, right? But overall, in the landscape of U.S. reality TV, it, it isn't it, right? It isn't it at all. I would argue that the U.K. and Australia and some of these other places have better success rates than the U.S. does. And, and it's just because right now, like I said, we are driven more so by celebrity and pop culture and doing what's trending, doing what's going to make us go viral, that we have lost the basics of what it takes to date somebody of what it takes to have a meaningful relationship with somebody and we are so caught up in the superficial stuff how good somebody looks or or all of these things not whether or not they're intelligent not whether or not they are a christian whether or not they're a nice person whether or not they treat their family right or have good morals and principles all of that is out of the window these days and now it's how good your filtered Instagram picture looks, right? 
But nonetheless, this is why we have so many breakup announcements that take place in reality TV, because they're not together for the right reasons in the first place. And especially The Bachelor, who is known, uh, you know, I believe if you get engaged on the regular shows on um, either Bachelor in Paradise or Bachelor Bachelorette, that if you stay engaged for an extended period amount of time, you get to keep the Neil Lang engagement ring. Like, it's just too much, right? It's just too much. And, and there's pressure to stay together even if you've outgrown each other and are no longer in, in love or are happy or all these things because you have a fan base now of people who watched you on the show for a couple of months, have grown attached to you, have grown interested and invested in your love story, and think it's going to go the distance every single time, every single season. You guys think it's going to go the distance and then you guys get shocked and you get outraged in a couple of months like now when we announce this breakup. But I could have told you that dude was still fancying the girl that said she was, um, you know, she danced for Prince. I knew what it was. I knew what time it was. I knew what it was, right? But again, these people, they like these little perks that ABC likes to throw at them and not everybody gets offered a wedding from the Bachelor, Bachelorette shows anymore on ABC. So why not take advantage of this? But we knew it wasn't gonna go the distance. We knew that, you knew that, right? Oh, you thought because they were older and, and, and supposedly more mature that this was gonna go the distance? No, 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 no. You still signed up for reality TV at the end of the day. So there's still aspects of reality TV that can be manipulated, that can be embellished, that can uh, be presented a certain way, uh, that you can be portrayed a certain way. And I believe they pay these suitors, right? If you're the bachelor or if you're the bachelorette and you're the suitor, don't you make like six figures for six to eight weeks of filming? I mean, why not? right and you get free wardrobe free makeup free jewelry and things to model uh you know and all these things and you make a quick six figures for a month a month and a half of filming of course these people aren't going to go the distance right and then you have contestants who may not be interested in the suitors but they're looking to become the bachelorette or the next bachelor so They'll work out whatever with production to try to get them as far in the show as possible and willing to pretend for as long as possible, as long as it gets them in the running and they build enough screen time so that the audience gets invested in them to potentially campaign for them to be the next Bachelor and Bachelorette. None of this stuff is genuine anymore. When is the last time? that a genuine application for The Bachelor or Bachelorette has taken place and they haven't just taken somebody from the previous season and said, I name you The Bachelorette, I name you The Next Bachelor. When is the last time that's happened, you guys? Never. Several seasons ago it's happened, but not recently is my point, right? They go in the same pool of the same previous reality stars. So, so that right there, it's not genuine, right? And so then the problem is you cast people who may or, not, or may not be interested in that particular suitor, especially if they have seen the show before and they're looking for somebody else to be their bachelor. Which is why the mystery is gone on a lot of these reality shows, which is why none of these relationships are working unless you go on Big Brother, allegedly, right? Uh, but nonetheless, this is what we talk about now. We talk about a breakup uh, within the next three to six months, sometimes a year, sometimes two years down the road. And even now, a lot of these bachelor and bachelorette couples are separated or are getting a divorce. So that's like a whole nother situation, right? Where you, th you, you, you went the distance uh, you, you chose your person who you thought was your person and you get married, you have kids and, and then you wake up one day and you realize this isn't it. We're not working anymore. So again, that also adds, you know, to, to the failures, right? Of these reality shows, right? But this is why you should not get attached. This is why you shouldn't get invested. This is why I tune out a lot of these reality shows now, especially the dating reality shows, because we already know what it is. Just like Temptation Island that I think now they're going to be airing on Netflix, 
right? Where you're in these couples and you decide, okay, whether or not we're going to get married before we do this, let's all stay at a house full of single people of the opposite sex to see if they can tempt me to cheat on you. And then we are going to go to a bonfire every couple of days. And I'm going to see what you do at the other house. And you're going to see what I do at the other house, right? And and you can't, you know, determine what is or won't be shown, right? And we find out later on that some of these people weren't even really together in the first place. But were acting like they were. Now, there were some couples who genuinely were together and completely acted a fool on the show and, and hooked up with people and thought they were still going to get their significant other back. But it's just been a hot mess. And then I'll never forget the season where this girl, she had this angelic edit and really, um, and it made it seem like she was the one being played in her relationship. But real talk, she was the one who wanted nothing to do with her dude and was allegedly asking dudes in the villa to have threesomes with her. But you didn't see any of that that was portrayed on the show. Because at the end of the day, when it comes to reality TV, everybody has a character to play, which takes it and makes it less real, right? Uh, if you have going in certain people that you want to promote and prop up, you're no longer filming a reality show. You're now filming the show that you want, right? That isn't legit. So, um, so there is that. Um, if you guys ever get a chance, oh, I can't think of it. Oh, the name of the show, Unreal. I believe it came on Lifetime. That show started, um, I believe it lasted two or three seasons or what have you. Um, but nonetheless... It was created by a former Bachelor producer that shows you all of the behind the scenes shenanigans and how far people are willing to go to be on camera. Whether it is hooking up with the producer, whether it is pretending, like I said, to be interested in the suitor just so you could last on the show longer to become the next Bachelor Bachelorette. It is some grimy things people are willing to do for fame, you guys. So it did not shock me at all that we are talking about this couple breaking up because it was never meant for them to go the distance in the first place. So there is that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.